Magma is the explosive lifeblood of volcanoes. The Yellowstone supervolcano, centered in northwestern Wyoming, has plenty stored beneath its geyser-laden surface. But magma is a mixture of both solid and liquid parts, and not all of it can erupt. However, that doesn't mean Yellowstone is more hazardous than before, said Michael Poland, the scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory who wasn't involved with the study. Although the Yellowstone volcano is a little more capable of erupting than previously believed, the new study corroborates that its shallow reservoir is predominantly solid, making the prospect of any forthcoming eruption extremely small. The study also isn't implying that more eruptive fuel has been created in recent years. As volcanoes go, Yellowstone is no shrinking violet. Since its cataclysmic emergence 2.1 million years ago, there have been two other colossal eruptions, plenty of moderately violent outbursts and countless lava flows. Its most recent eruption came in the form of syrupy flows 70,000 years ago. Keen on foreseeing the volcano's future, scientists have tried to ascertain how much molten rock is close to the surface and where it may be. Magma reservoirs are probably more like labyrinths than tanks of permanently liquid rock. Crystalline boundaries trap the melt, a buoyant, hot liquid. The more melt there is, the more capable a volcano is of powerful erupting. 